usual and five minute chess when we can't find longer games. I'm an international master originally from the United States, now living in Hungary since 2004. If you're new to the channel, please like and follow me on YouTube as well. My channel on YouTube is Video Chess Training. So we're going to get in there and look for a 15 minute game. I'd like to use other chess sites as well. We'll experiment with different sites uh, for some technical reasons. I've used just one so far during the live Twitch streamings, but uh, I'd like to broaden our horizons and try different uh, online chess sites. I uh, hope everybody's happy with the pieces now because we had a lot of people complaining about 3D boards, or 3D pieces rather. Uh, what about the chess world outside of the Twitch stream here? I was. Um, I was looking at the results from from the Tata tournament in the Netherlands, and um, Magnus Carlsen running away with the field now, a point ahead of the field with 6.5. Next closest is Fabiana Caruana with 5.5. It seems that the chess world has changed, and um, you have this situation where it looks like Carlsen is the strongest player, but after Carlsen, it becomes very unclear. Uh, Caruana looks strong, but there's a lot of players who are really close in strength, and a lot of players, you know, so many players in the high 2700s, can't even count them anymore, and that never used to be the case, but I guess we'll see more and more of that, players kind of equalizing in strength at the top, very hard to decide, you know, who's the best player in the world, luckily Carlson is sort of dominant, so I think we can safely assume Magnus is the best. Yesterday I wanted to make a video for for YouTube, and it's about a game from the Top Top Tournament. So stay tuned for that. We had we had the blue screen of death yesterday when I was recording or trying to record a video for YouTube. So if anyone knows. It's just a memory thing, I'm not really sure, but if anyone knows what kind of programs can cause the blue screen of death, or if it's um, if it's just a memory thing with my computer, let me know what you guys think. I was scanning some online forums about computers, but uh, it's just too technical for me. So anyway, we're looking for a 15 minute game out there, and we'll wait a couple minutes. Just wait till a few people join the stream. I don't know if anybody's watching yet. We had a blitz game against Super Sasha. We uh, we were outplayed a little bit in the opening. Super Sasha, I think it's Mark Berkovich from Israel. He's a really good player. He's very theoretical, um, well versed, all around solid player, but um, kind of slimed him. Didn't mean to play five minute. I think I clicked on the wrong button, but we're gonna play a five minute game. This guy's very good. He's underrated now at 2240. Pop a while. Um, we'll warm up with a blitz game. That's good. Pop a while is, uh, I think, if I recall, looking at his finger uh, notes online, um, it says he's from Peru or something, but he's living in Poland. It's kind of a weird combination, but I'm American living in Hungary, so anything's possible. Uh, but a good blitz player, this guy. Uh, unbeknownst to me, you know, if he's like an over-the-board player, I've never seen him play B3. Usually it's a uh, more clean, sort of, um, classical, open Sicilians. I play G6. I've never done this against Bishop B2, but somewhere I saw a recommendation um, with something like this. It seems pretty logical. Now here you could play maybe like Queen C1. He trades. A lot of people kind of put a lot of importance on their online blitz ratings. So to the like extent where they might play differently if I'm 2200 as opposed to if I was like 2300 or something like that, which is a little crazy. Um, we've played quite a few games. Me. Me and Papa Wow, 
Alpha and I, I should say. Um, it's it's like he's playing kind of I don't know. He doesn't feel like he's playing as aggressively in the opening as usual. Play b6 here. I want to meet a5 with b5. But he's again, you know, played very conservatively in this game. I'm not really in love with my queen side here. I guess bishop b7 is interesting, but then queen b5. He has these weird moves. He can play in this position. Um, if rook a b8, he has queen a6. Feels like I should do something very aggressive here, but I just don't really know what that is. A6? I guess A6 is okay. The thing is, yeah, A6 is fine, actually. B5 is, is okay. I feel like I'm playing, um, you know, like I felt like he wanted the A5, but actually the A5 benefits me, so. Okay, B5 is fine. Bishop B7 is a little more conservative. I mean, I'm waiting for him to play d4. And when he plays d4, I'm going to take, and I don't want my bishop to be hanging. And I want to free my rook from defending the a6 pawn. So now, he's going to get this kind of Marazzi kind of position with c4. But he has quite a few weaknesses, so I don't think I need to be panicking here. Possibly... Queen c5. Not really sure. Um, I guess I don't need to do anything special. I can never play d5 because he plays e5. He's got very good control of the e5 square. So it's, it's looking a little weird. My king side is weird. Um, so I'll just play routine moves, which I don't really feel good about. But I feel like I need my queen to defend the dark squares. Again, welcome to the stream, everybody. Feel free to join the chat room. Any chats, chess related uh, chat is, is fine with me. Yesterday we had our first troll, and I tried to, you know, I really tried to avoid ban. I didn't want to ban anybody, you know, especially not in the first week, but you just got to draw the line somewhere. But anyway, keep the chat nice. You can insult my hair. Don't insult chess. Um, yeah, this guy is, uh, we're going to have to get aggressive with this guy. He's kind of massaging me here. It shouldn't really be a big deal, though. This Marazzi with, that, with no pieces on the board, uh, objectively, seems like he's on my he's on my B pawn, man. Leave my B pawn alone. You can't just sit there and let the guy walk all over you. You know, you've got to stay active. Um, you know, if I just sit here and play passively, he's gonna massage me. So that's gonna force me to make a decision. Uh, Rook takes e4, trades my B pawn, <clears throat> and I'm not sure I have a lot of choices about it, to be perfectly honest. Rook takes e4. Yeah, I mean, okay, he's on my b-pawn, but I'm trading rooks. He's got to take with a knight, probably, which is very passive. So I think I should be okay here. Uh, but my bishop's hanging, so i got to play queen e7. Feels like he's better. It's, um... This kingside majority of mine is sort of useless at the moment. Now c5. And uh, I guess we have bishop d5. Which may save us in this position. However, I'm not sure. I mean, c6, rook c8. c6, rook c8, rook c1. Um... It's looking scary. Rook c8, rook c1, queen c7. It's sort of the only thing I can do here. And then I take on b3 if he takes on a6. So he did that, though. Um, okay. Rook takes, queen check, rook takes d5. Um, so if I take with a rook... Queen a8 check. I can trade queens or something. This is going to be real close. 
Uh, queen a check, king g7, rook takes d5, rook c1. Looks okay for me. Um, obviously, his two connect pass pawns on the queen side are going to win if I don't have some counterplay fast. So, again, queen a check. I don't really like trading queens into this ending. Now maybe I can get away with it. Trading queens into the ending, um, rook b1. Looks kind of grim for me. You play bishop b1. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Uh, this, this is possible I can stop this pawn. I'm not sure this is the right idea. Take, take, take. It's b4, bishop at b3. Um, I may have miscalculated something, but I don't think so. I feel like rook and bishop are active enough. His knight is awkward. <coughs> His knight's getting pinned a lot. Excuse me. His knight's getting pinned a lot on the back rank. Rook b1, rook c3. What was my plan? I don't know, but I better decide fast. No, rook b1, bishop e, bishop e4. And this position, bishop b3. And then the idea of rook b5, rook c4. It's, it's real dodgy. And here. Hopefully we're just in time to stop these scary pawns. Knight c2, or knight d3, bishop c2. He might have some tricks, but undefended knight is, uh, is a resource for me. I have the feeling I should be okay. This, this time pressure is fairly level, both sides getting kind of low on time. If he jettisons one of the pawns, I think the other will be weak. Rook b1, rook takes b4. Um, I think that's that's a weird decision. I think that's a mistake. He did that. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to blockade. Bishop b7, I suppose. How, how can I... Uh, okay, get the king over. Well, I think I'm lucky there. He had better. Basically playing for time. Which I don't blame him for here. I'll take a draw. If I can. I'm going to flag here. Mutually acceptable result based on the clock. I know, you know, some of you blitz heroes would like be disappointed here, but um, I mean the bullet heroes out there. But I don't think anybody's gonna win without this turning into nonsense. Um, kind of just like happy that uh, you know, happy that nobody nobody lost given my time disadvantage. Actually, he was better um, most of the game in the earlier stages. Not really in the opening, but then I was mis misplaying it, so I feel lucky to have not lost. I was behind on the clock with a uh, slightly difficult position. All right, we'll try to get in a 15-minute pool. We did it. Right away, we got a game. Welcome to the channel, everybody. I'm Slaggy on Twitch. My name is International Master William Pascal, and we're going to play some live chess here. 15-minute about two hours stream today. 15 minute chess if possible. We'll do five minute with commentary. We've got a few people in the chat now. I was saying you can play um, pretty much anything with white. Just tell me what you want me to play. E4, D4, Knight F3, G3, C4. I play everything. I think I played E4 the least. I'm, I'm a little afraid of theory. Okay, now this, this is I'm um, hoping for Grunfeld. Actually, I don't often play often play Knight of Three. He doesn't want to play Grunfeld. Okay, it's not going to be Grunfeld. 
Let's try.